Welcome back to Most Haunted Live, and on Extraordinary Night, we've based ourselves here in Norfolk at an abandoned RAF base called West Raynham, very active in the Second World War, then through the Cold War. In fact, it did not close until 1994 or thereabouts, but is now abandoned, derelict, and rich, we think, in paranormal activity. We started with a wander around the HQ tonight. We found some amazing sounds and noises and some specific information. Let's turn now to historians, John Callow, and archaeologist and social historian, Miriam Cook. Miriam, you first. Um, yeah. We had the number 114 from mm. Chris Conway, our medium, and that was a squadron based there. He also said 141. Anything on that? Yeah, well, there was, uh, I was looking up in my notes, and the 141 squadron was also here. And they um, came towards the end uh, um, in 1943. They had their first missions. And um, they actually sustained quite a few losses. In February in 1944, and then again through April, they were having problems with the, the planes. So they had them rehauled in the actual, um, in the March. But in the April, they, they still kept getting um, losses on the planes. Um, so, at, you know, it's quite interesting that we found one four one. Well, fascinating. And Those two sets of numbers are spot on Both for this base. Mm. Okay. Let's turn to you now, John. And um, first of all, we got the message through. It seems tell mm. no one. It goes without saying, secrecy would have been paramount yeah. here during the Second World War. Of course. I mean, you're looking at you're looking at the the crucial period in Britain's recent history. Everything hinged on this, and a period when Britain really did stand alone after the fall of France. There's another 18 months before the Soviet Union comes in to join us. So this is an absolutely crucial period. Churchill comes to this base, Clement Attlee comes to the place, this base, the late Queen Mother came to this base, so, and they actually had an enormous fly past here of all the bombers and all the different types of heavy aircraft that we possessed. Also, a member of the audience came up to with an interesting mm. theory. The name mm. Molly came out, yeah. and the, they were asking, wow. did they not name their aircraft in the wow. RAF the way the Americans yeah. did? Molly may have been a plane name. Yeah, it could have been. It's a nice idea. I mean, obviously, there's the, the very emotive one that you, you're contacting, maybe a, a spirit, somebody sweetheart, but also this thing of the naming of an aircraft. Now, machines, you know, people name their cars today. It was no different. Uh, if you think again in the, in the American sphere of influence, the Memphis Bell, the famous movie. But of course, British aircraft were decorated too. There were unofficial names given that would never be registered. And also, there was a tradition of painting aircraft. The very famous Irish air ace, Paddy Finucane, went, f went mad because his air crew, without him knowing, painted his kills on, the t on a Spitfire. Because of and course, as you might be expected, they're also quite superstitious because they were right. desperately trying to stay alive. Uh, Thank you, chat, for the yeah. moment. John and Miriam, let's get now to Interactive to find out what you are seeing and sensing at home. Here's Julian Clay. Thanks very much indeed, Paul. The more messages from the audience here who experienced strange things. Strange things. I just talked to a lady whose uh, face went hot on one side. You could physically feel hot, cold on either side. Sonia suddenly went cold in the audience here. Sarah touched on the head as well. Also many people reporting figures behind Paul and myself. Keep uh, those coming. Thank you, audience, for that. Now let's go around the webcam, see what you're seeing at home, and let's look at webcam one, the control room. Uh, Lauren and Bournemouth, I saw a dark shadow walking up and down near the webcam. Also Simon and Lester on webcam one. It looks like an old man standing in the door look, looking at the camera. Webcam two. The main stairwell. There it is, Gemma from Oldham. I'm sensing a lot of activity on the stairs. Servicemen and servicewomen walking and running up and down them. Simon from Newbury, I saw a figure coming down the stairs. It appeared to be in full uniform, it looked to be in a rush and not happy. Webcam three, an odd looking figure in the doorway. It seems to pace from the window back to the doorway as if it's looking for something. Lauren, Helen, and Gavin in Woodchurch, thank you for that. And Yvette in Rochester, there's a figure looking out of the window, it looks like a man, and he's got a cap on. Thank you. Uh, webcam four, the corridor, you can see the uh, crew there. Uh, Damien in Southampton and White, mist in the corner of the webcam is floating around the left side there. And Jane from Glasgow, a little boy wandering up and down the corridor. It seemed like he was looking for someone. Now, we want to hear your stories, what you're spotting on the webcams. Also, if you're an expert on Morse code and you want to uh, translate and interpret what was going on on the Ouija board just then, get in touch. Uh, this is how you do it. You can text me, text the word, screen then the space, then your message to 80889. The text costs 50p plus one, one standard rate message. Also, you can go to the website, mosthauntedlive.net, where you can also, by the way, send your photos. We may be showing those on our post-mortem show tomorrow night on Living It and uh, also uh, get in touch if you'd like to come to the show this week. There's still some tickets uh, left available for the show. 
Finally, a couple of messages here. Uh, ben from H H Hade, thank you Ben, says, I went to visit my nan near the old airfield the other month. I was walking past with my brother. We both heard um, s what sounded like marching, but there was only me and my brother there. Very scary. And uh, Megan from Dublin says, my dad was based in Norfolk in the 60s and said he had strange experiences at Raynham, uh, especially in the station headquarters. He never liked going in that building. That's where we are tonight. More from Interactive later. Paul, back to you. Thank you, Julian. Well, keep watching those webcams. Stay in touch. I understand the team have now split up. We'll find out what they're up to after this. Most Haunted Live, keep watching. Since we were last with the vet fielding the team, the team has fragmented. They've split up, and those scenes happen during the break. Let's get straight back now to the vigil, Yvette fielding, and the live investigation tonight at the HQ of this amazing site. Yvette. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, we are so frightened. Uh, during the break, we have heard stuff, we have seen stuff, um, and it's down this corridor here. Let's just have a look. Chris, just describe that. It's so dark here. Honestly, I can't see anything. Where is it still there? No. It's moved. It's not there. Is that not it over there? What? 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 Yes. What? It what? Is that not like a, a shadowy figure yeah. down there? Why don't we go to where that figure was then? Okay. It's, 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 Let's go where that figure was. It's so black. Honestly, we can't see each other. Um, it's so really dark. Everybody else is um, by the monitor upstairs. And it's just us. Chris is on camera. We've got Matt on sound. Go on, Mika. No, 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 no. no you go, you go you're first. Doing, you're doing really well. No, but you're a big bloke. Yeah, but that's not, it doesn't really have to be this ghost. Can yeah, the camera go, go first? Yeah, the camera should go first, Chris. No. Do you need help with rigging? No, Where was it, Chris? What? what? Did you just touch me? What? Just... what? What? It's alright, I'm just panicking. What? Where was it, Chris? It Straight was right at the end, underneath that, that window. There's something. Is that what you saw, Matt? No, this, this one was by those doors just there, in front of us. Oh. With the window pane above it. So it moved from these doors to the window, and now it's gone. There's there something there. There's a black mass that's floating. No, it wasn't floating, sorry. It was the mass was from the floor to about three foot up. Oh, so it was a little ghost. Well, either that or something. It had length to it as well. Mm. Well, well, my bloody goat down on my own. Will somebody come with me? Okay. No. I have to push it, Kath. I don't know. I don't know. What's the matter? What's the matter? What's the matter? What's the matter? Shit. What? Calm down. What is it? What is it? There was definitely movement in there. I think someone's in there. There's got to be. There's got to be a person in there. Should we get a torch? Have a look. I must have looked really I've far got on the on already. I apologise. Shall I? Shall I put the torch on? No. Okay. A light just moved up against you, then, Carl. The what? A light on your left hand side. Something flew up about five seconds ago. Should we ask if he's here? Anybody. Okay, is there any spirit people here with us now? What the fuck what was, was that? that? I didn't hear that. What you didn't hear that? Light. What was it? It was a... I thought they were... Oh, was no there. lies. Hello? Carlos thinks... What? What's the matter? What was that oh. between you and you, though? <laughs> in between the event and Carlos? Oh. Listen! There is somebody behind us. I'm not joking. A that. black shape in that doorway there has just moved, as if going in there. And at the same time, we heard a clicking, like shuffling noise. Is that Matt there? Yes. Is there anybody in there, Matt? No, there's no one in there. But I just saw it. I just saw a black mass move. 
No, no idea. I've got a torch. I can't turn it. There you are. I've got it. I've got it. Turn it off. 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 Why? I can't even see you. Okay. Right, okay. Where are we going? What? Let's just keep keep. Should we go back in this room and before or do I just saw something moving there. Where? Which I can't you That doorway. I know, I know. There's a doorway here, the first one here on the right with the light. There was a black shadow went in there. And, and we all heard the noise after it moved because we all went, ooh, what was that? Come on, let's go in and have a look. In where? Which way are you going? The room. Forward, forward, Matt. Where are you? Yeah. Matt, I can't see you. Matt's being very brave. Keep your hand in, Carl. Oh, God, I can't make a sign of relief. I can see a little bit now. Oh, God. Something came in here. Well, there's nothing in there now. Can you make a noise, please? Someone's stomach? It's me. Okay. Whew. Mike! Mike, whose sweetheart was Molly? Is anyone in that room there? Come and say, Bob. There's no one on camera, Carl. Shit. What, what, did you see something? I'm sure something just moves. Oh, God, I'm so dead. All right, to the left. I, I don't even know. Just do, do that movement with your hand again. The first time oh you did it, there was a shadow on the back wall, but there's not now. There's a huge bang. There's, somebody, there's something in there. Did there's you something not hear in there. that, There's something in there. Yeah. It was massive. There's something in there. Let's go in. Can we just put the torch on? Will you I've just got, set like, the, the torch? Chris, yeah. can you stick the camera in there? No, no you Was that you? Wait, wait, stop. Was that you that just made that huge bang then? I've not made any bang. Did you hear it again, Matt? Yeah. What the hell is behind you or in between me and you, Carl? What's that? What's that? That's, that's what, what is that? That's, that's something right? Laid out by the noble lord, Lord Roper, and he has himself said, uh, arises from undertakings given by noble baroness Lady Ashton as leader of the House during debates on the EU Amendment Act. The procedure committee has... ...the procedure to be adopted in the circumstances which we face. Well, it looks like we have some strange forces at work tonight. We seem to be experiencing some unforeseen problems with Most Haunted Live. Don't worry, though. We have our finest working on it right now, and we hope to be back with our intrepid investigators in Norfolk just as soon as we can. It's very strange, though, isn't it? The windswept flatlands of Norfolk have a bloody history, dating back to the violent Norman conquest of the Middle Ages. More recently, in 1936, the area of Raynham entered into paranormal infamy when a photographer captured on camera evidence of the ghostly brown lady of Raynham Hall. And it is on land connected with the imposing Raynham Hall that the desolate and sprawling RAF West Raynham complex was built in the 1930s and proved integral to our country's success in World War II. But all victory comes with a price, and many brave souls were lost in Europe's battle against the forces of evil. It is little wonder, then, that the hangars, barracks, and endless lonely corridors that make up this eerie, disorientating base are said to be home to countless tragic souls, desperate to find their way home. Prior to its closure in the 1990s, Personnel at the base experienced many ghostly intruders. Hallowed footsteps, furniture smashing together, and the terrifying apparition of a pilot have all been reported. Could this phenomena and more await the most haunted team tonight? Amongst the towers, barracks, and expansive hangars, 
One building here at RAF West Raynham is alleged to house the site's most discontent spirits. The armory is at the core of any military base, and it is little wonder that here at West Raynham, many consider it to be the site's most chillingly active location. As a storage base for weapons and ammunition, the armory was closely associated with death and violence. Whilst little evidence is visible of the building's former use, the dark, damp corridors of this decomposing shell retain a hostility. You're worried. Matt, I'd really like it if you were up here as well, with oh, me. Matt, look out behind us. Oh, what's that noise? That's in here. Carl, what are you doing? What are you shut the door for? I'm not. It's a thing. I think what's going on. Am I, am I, are we following whoa, you? Whoa, 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 whoa. Carl, are we following what you? What was that? I want to. Where's he going? Carl? Torch off! Oh, wait! It's the health and safety It's health and safety! Whoa. It's all right! I can't see, so we need to see where we're walking. Wait, Kevin, you let go of me now. Where's Carl? He's here. Yeah. What was that? So it's my coat. No, no, Matt, I heard that behind you. What? What? What's that? What What's do you that? mean, what, what Matt? Mm -hmm. What, Matt? It's just a reflection of the door. Okay. Come on then, everybody squeeze in. What is this? It's alright, it's alright, it's alright, it's alright. I'm on the edge. I can see a little bit in here because of the window. Right, let's just stand and call out for a little bit. You alright, Matt? Yeah. Okay. Everybody? Ready? Carl? Yeah. Okay, let's stand still. Hello? Is there anybody here? No, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm just... What's up? It's, it... I know it's cold, but it's almost like something touching you all the time. I just then it's like someone was there, and it's just... Yeah, uh... What if you made doggy noises? That'd be hysterically funny, I know. I'll let you do that, because you're used to that. Oh, thanks very much. If that feeling makes a complete fool of herself. Where are you going, Where are you going Carl? I'll go. Why? What? I'm going to the next room. Why are you being all funny? I'm not, no, I'm just done it. No, sorry, I'm not being funny. I just, I just... What? This room scares the shit out of me. Well, then stay in, then. No, but the other room scares the shit out of me, but this one scares the shit out well, of me Well, we should. More. We've got to stay together. Yeah, but the dog is in the other room, isn't it? How do you know the dog's well, in the other room? Well, that's where Matt saw her. Whoa, what, what, Kath? Who's tapping? There's tapping on there. Carl, stay in here. You're yeah, doing stuff. Oh, shit. Are you here? Oh. What's the matter, Carl? Oh, fuck. What's that? Oh, you all right? Something moved about in there. You all right? Something, yeah, there's something moved about in there. Just plant into that one fucking door. What's in there? Hello? Is there anybody here? Are there any spirit people here now? Hello? Can you please make a noise in the corridor? Oh, yeah, I'm gonna make a noise that you would attract attention for a dog. Right? Please. Oh, fuck! What's the matter? What's what did you do? Did you just make some dog sound? No. No. Shit. What? I just walked out there. Bang, bang. Come on, let's go out here then. Come well, on. Just try and talk to you there for a second. Love. Well, yeah, keep... Yes, I know, sweetheart, but stop wandering off. It's very annoying. Carl, just wait. Oh, do you know what? I'm going to kill you. Are you touching me, Matt? Yeah, yeah. I don't want to be able to back. Yeah, okay. Carl! Yeah. 
Oh, it's me. Oh, stop it, Carl. I've just come to that. <laughs> just calm down, everyone. I'm shit scared. Carl, I've got to go. Hey. Can you turn the phone back down? Turn your torches off now. No, 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 no. I hate it. Carl, just. Carl, come, come here. On. Carl, come here for a minute. Let's go. Carl, will you just come here? Off. Look, can you please just stop going off on your own? Yeah, yeah we're all I'm in it to together. Find the ghost. I know we are. We yeah, all are. Yeah, stay still. What? Just say, Carl, just breathe where you are. Like, Carl. Some, some smoke came up down that side of the. Right, it's me, I'm going to make a noise now. Ready? Any ghosty dogs? Carl's wandering off on his own again. Hello? Is there anybody here? Any spirit people here now? Can you talk to us? Well, the investigation here at West Raynham continues. The fear and the hysteria are mounting, and for reasons we're not completely clear about, we did lose transmission for about 90 seconds to two minutes to our living viewers. We apologise for that. Very disturbingly, we have no idea why that happened. I'd also like to apologise for some of the extreme language you may have heard, very intense circumstances out there in the investigation, which continues after this. This is Norfolk. This is West Raynham RAF base, now abandoned. In fact, abandoned, dilapidated for almost 15 years, and this is most haunted live. We are calling West Raynham the silent town because this was once a bustling and thriving community of RAF staff and officers. Now empty, apart from tonight, us, the most haunted live team. And tonight, they're at the Nexus, the nerve centre, the hub of the operation, the HQ. And some amazing results are coming through. The last vigil seem to sense, in fact the team seem to see a dog, and we've had some great feedback from the audience. A lady called Naomi reminded us that actually many RF bases had dogs as mascots. They were even given their own ranks. Apparently there's a firefighting dog attached to the firefighting unit on the Falklands Islands. Then another lady, whose brother was a very senior communications officer, said they regularly saw ghost dogs in, through the HQ main doors in an office marked 1 Oblique 3. We are getting that to Yvette and the team. Finally, and this isn't a joke, a lady called Judy told me she used our loos at the back and while in there experienced the same kind of turbulence you get on an aircraft, even though we are absolutely on level concrete ground. It has been an amazing night, terror, hysteria, and we're getting straight back to the vigil right now. Okay, we've just sort of come up the stairs and we've come up to the first floor. Uh, we've just heard, let's just, shh, sh is that Matt? Come on out here a sec. Noise again, you know the the rap. Right. Can you make a noise if you hear? Walking backwards, Chris. Yep. Okay. Well, we definitely just heard the same noise that we heard last night. Right, Yvette, what we've done, we've slowed that down again. Okay. <gasps> um, Who stood there? Oops. Who's that? Who is that? Who's that at the end? Who's that at the end? Who? There's a camera. What? Yeah. Oh, right. my God. Sake. Oh, is that everybody on the ca on the cameras there? On the monitors? Oh, right, okay. God says. 
scared the living poo out me. Right, okay. Where were the speakers? Do we know? Speakers, I said. Are they? Right, Yvette, we're going to play this track back. Okay, apparently um, uh, Archie's just saying we're going to play this track back. But brace yourself, Yvette, for what you're going to hear. Oh, brace yourselves. And be very, hear. very quiet. Okay, be quiet, everyone. That. I. That is scary. Are there voices but there in there? There seem to be a, 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 almost a words, a sentence yeah. in there. Okay. What? What? Just, just so you don't. Sorry, I'm. I'm just trying to compute what I've just heard. There's a, a very high-pitched noise yesterday. For those people who don't understand what that noise is. When we were at our location yesterday, we kept hearing what could be described as a squeaking noise, but it had like an electronic sort of uh, sound to it. So what we've done is we've slowed that sound right down, and that's what you just heard. Can we just hear it again? Just as a demonic monster or something horrific. It, it, it sounds almost like a scrambled message. It's like a, like a, yes. something goes through the airwaves that's been scrambled. Yeah. Because you can get bits of it. In yes, there. yeah. Like, it, it, it just, it, it's, I mean, there's part of it that sounds like almost like a, like a siren, like a World War II siren it going off. There's a, there's a... Whatever it is, it sound, it's, it's not a particularly nice sound, is it, at all? Let's see now, with that being played, whether it sparks off, because we heard it again, here, just in this bit here. Sorry, I don't, I don't, come on, guys. Hello? Hello? Is there anybody here, any spirit person here with us now? Can you make a noise? Hey guys. Where are you going? Did you? Where does this go? Oh, is it? It's quite a Hello? What's that? Yes. What? Get off! What? It's not coming through after we've played that thing. Yeah, no. What if we could slow that bit down? We might have something else in it. What about King's bad box? That's... They're doing it now, they're going to slow it down. What are you saying, man? Come on, come again. That sounds between ultrasound and our hearing. So if Kieran's bat box could. No, push it down to frequency that we can hear. You mean get the ultrasound box in here? Yeah, maybe. Kieran? Yeah? Can you bring your ultrasound box in here, love? Okay. I think it's your ultrasound box. Here. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh, that's weird. What's the matter? 
Oh, and Alan said it. Yeah. 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 Kieran, we're getting the high-pitched squeal again. Okay. Ryan, come on here. I'll just have it without the speaker. <coughs> oh, sorry. Let me start at 29, which it was last night. Said it's ready to play back, but it can only come through our earpieces. We can't get it through the, the main bank yet. Do you okay. want to hear it? Yeah. Okay, I, even though this will be kind of annoying for everyone else here, go for it. Okay. There is a conversation there. From what? From this? No, no, no just what, from what played back. You know, we heard it earlier on. Right. We recorded it and played it back. Another piece. So, but it's it's just so, It's happening all the time you're speaking. Do you want to talk to us? If you do, please make that noise again. You heard that? Yeah. Do you get it, Matt? Yeah. Can you copy me? Uh, uh. Oh God, did you hear that? I heard did it, I think, twice responding to you. Yeah. Okay, let's do it again. Did you get that, Matt? Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh. First one, oh, a little short, short then. Really? Okay. What do you what, what do you suggest? I mean, that's, this is this is all new for me. Yeah? In terms of hearing. Hearing this, this how very very high pitched that we we slowed down and everything. But isn't it strange? We've only heard it downstairs. We've only heard it on the. Uh, and again. Can I just have a look in here? With, uh, We've only heard it in here, and we've only heard it in... Yeah. This could be void. This could be them trying to talk to us. This could be it. This actually could be it. It could, couldn't it? Yeah. voices and you can understand us, please make a long, high-pitched noise. Do you get that? 
was long. Now can you do me two short ones? Two short ones. Kieran, please explain that. Can you explain it? I can't explain it. I'd like to put a control in place. Well, we, but you said you got it at the top of the stairs, then, didn't yeah, you? I was yeah. just about to say, if we left this room and left a recording device in here, then people at, people at home would know there's nobody here. But then if you got it in the stairs as well, you're saying it yeah, follows you. Yeah, we just got a recording on, we just played it back, and it follows you around. So how can you put the footage in our building as well? Yeah. The only control... Uh, uh, let's keep investigating, yeah, because we can talk about okay. this tomorrow, can't okay, we? Okay, yeah, let's do that. Okay. I don't want you to spend another argument. <laughs> I love you. I love you too. <laughs> I love you too. Do you want me to stay with you or go back to the monitors? You go back to the monitors? Okay. Is that alright? And then we'll call no you if we, get, if we get another load of sound. Okay. How, is, there, is, there, is, there, uh, is there more kind of going on that way, Carl? There's, 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 yeah, it's a room and then the outside and then there's upstairs. Should we go upstairs from here? Can we go upstairs? On the yeah, same cable? Can we go upstairs on this cable, Mike? Guy? Let's try it. Let's try it, what the hell? Uh, I think we need, yeah, okay. Yeah, this way? Yeah, up, this, up the stairs? You all right, Carl? Quite clearly here in the studio, we heard that call and response, a long high-pitched noise. Then the request by that for two short high-pitched noises. That followed. We are analysing those sounds. Do not go anywhere. Most Haunted Live, the far from silent town, returns after this. Welcome back. This is RAF West Raynham in Norfolk. The site all week of the most haunted live investigation. Our most ambitious to date because this is the largest site we have ever explored. 277 hectares. A site established in 1939, closed down in 1994, now dilapidated, decaying but rich in paranormal potential. The team are relocating inside the headquarters of this amazing, amazing site. So let's catch up now with our historians, John Callow and Miriam Cook. Good evening again to you. So much to go on tonight. Yeah. We had some direct hits from Chris Conway, our medium. 114, 141, the numbers came out. And yeah. they were, were they squadrons? They were squadrons, yeah, yeah. And also we're getting a lot of Morse code activity. Yeah, on I've right. been looking at the Morse code. We've got a, a lovely little book here. Um, and um, I've been trying to work it out. But the, I found a really nifty little ca uh, thing on the computer as well. To so old school Morse code, me. new school computers. Yes. And what did um, you come up with? Because um, lots of repeated re letters. It says, yeah, it says repeat... And then I can't get the first uh, letter. It doesn't seem to make sense what I have. And then T, D, repeat. So John was coming up with a theory about that. I've, I've had a terribly prosaic one because you, you try all these things. I mean, that's, that's very often with evidence. You just try it and try it and try it and some fit and some, some things don't. And what you're getting essentially maybe is a call tower, a young operator, a young girl asking for a signal to be repeated and repeated again. And what's coming back is essentially things that, you know, are garbled, that don't make sense, are crippled or a spiralling aircraft. But it certainly so, seemed to be the sound impression. When we slowed mm, down those squirts of high pitch sound, yeah. it sounded like maybe scrambled messages, even a dog and, barking in there possibly. And you see, if you are in that rich spiritualist tradition <coughs> that Chris, the medium is, and, you know, that is brought out by Carl Nivet and the team, it's incredibly potent. You are touching through that wall. You are reaching into the mist. Thank you very much, John. Thank you, Miriam. Let's go interactive now, find out what you are seeing and sensing at home. Here's Julian Craig. Julian. Thanks very much indeed, Paul. Well, you are being brilliant with your Morse code. Thank you so much for this. Here we go. For example, Sergeant Jimmy in Suffolk and Rachel in Suffolk, uh, SSL uh, means speak slower because a lot of the uh, abbreviations are the Morse code abbreviations. So thank you very much indeed for that message. ERC, which came up, uh, means uh, an unregistered civilian. Also, it can mean grand crew. Thank you for those who got in touch uh, through the forums on that. Uh, dot, dot, dash, dash, dot, dot is a question mark in Morse code. Maybe they don't understand, say Lisa and Alan and Dudley. OSS uh, was the early secret service. They used Morse code extensively, says Max and Devon. And dot, 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 dash was a call sign from the BBC to the French resistance in World War II. And four taps could be mistaken for that. Tony and Sterling, the Morse code R is additional radio procedure. It means Roger or understood. Very good. And IMI, says Sharon and Leeds. 
Uh, she says, my husband is ex-army forces and understands Morse code, uh, means say again. These are great. Uh, keep them coming. And uh, also SAD, Security, Accuracy and Discipline, used as an acronym for security purposes, Paul and Port Talbot. Uh, get in touch, uh, text the word screen in the space, then your message to 80889. The text costs 50p plus one standard rate, rate message, and uh, we'll have more from this later on. Finally, Dave from St. Helens, AR, which is how this all ended in that seance, in Morse code means end of message. With that, the end of this message from Interactive, Paul, back to you. Thank you, Julian. Well, the penultimate part of tonight's investigation approaches. Remember, we are live until midnight. Stay with us right here on Living Most Haunted Live. The Silent Town continues after this. You join us for the penultimate part of Most Haunted Live. We are with you until midnight, and this is the site of tonight's vigil location. We are based on RAF West Raynham in Norfolk, and the team are at the Nerve Center, the HQ of this amazing and vast site, but soon they will not be alone. Now, we continually film here on Most Haunted Live during the commercial breaks. We film continuously any highlights we share with you. We also film after midnight. Yvette Fielding and the team leave the visual location and Phil Wyman, our paranormal investigator, and two audience members will continue the investigation. And those lucky people are Emma Balderstone and Ali Cohen from Liverpool. Emma is a beautician, Ali is a promotions girl. They're now being accompanied by Phil Wyman to the visual site to continue that location investigation on our behalf from midnight and girls, the best of British luck to you tonight. Let's head now straight back to the vigil, Yvette Fielding and the team inside the HQ. Yvette. We all stand there. Okay, we've just been plagued by, uh, not plagued, uh, by that very high pitched noise again. It's followed us, followed us again. Um, something really fascinating has happened. We've been contacted by a viewer um, with reference to the information that was coming through on the Ouija board. Um, a viewer seems to um, know an awful lot or have a lot of information with regards to a gentleman called Mike that served here in 1942. He was in squadron, I think it's 114, um, and his uh, 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 wife or girlfriend was called Molly. Uh, now we're going to try and get hold of this person who knows an awful lot of information and see if we can get them in on the programme tomorrow. But I think that's absolutely amazing. Also, he, he, he died in uh, 1943, I, I think she said. This Mike did? Yeah, yeah. he, he died. Yeah, absolutely place. amazing. Uh, so, so hopefully we can get more information from this person. Just think all of that just from a session on the Ouija board. But um, that to me just, I mean, you know me, I'm always sceptical about yeah. Ouija boards, but that just has, has proven me completely wrong. But, yeah. The information none of us could know, and it's come through. I and also, the Morse code thing for me was fabulous. But yeah. also, this high pitch thing is really quite extraordinary. We've come to a completely different area. Um, uh, we've come back to the ground floor, and again, we're getting this high pitch noise. Let's move out of this particular well, room. Should we not go? Uh, is there a different way? No, there's a room in here. Is it? You like that? Yeah. You're on the periphery there. <gasps> Ooh! What's that, sir? I heard. Did you get that, Matt? What did you hear? It, it was a month. It was. Oh. No, it no. was. It no, no, no. Yeah, that was That's it. Cool. Okay, cool. Was... <laughs> it sounded like you. It did, didn't it? Yeah, it did. but, you know, we were right. We did hear something. We did. <laughs> but it wasn't ghostly. You would never think a cable, cable would make that noise trying being dragged through, would you? Right, come on. It's a scary noise in itself, I can't really, I feel really uneasy in here. Do you? Really uneasy. I don't know if because there's bars on the window and the, 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 the wall is funny. What do you mean? I did, it's not like... It's, it's almost like a, um, for sound, isn't it? It's almost like... It's different acoustics in this room. It's really dead. Yeah, it's, it is, isn't it? It's completely dead. Hello? So if, 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 if you have a voiceover, yeah. this would be a great voiceover. I don't think we can with the cable, Matt. Can you get it quite close? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm just 
Hello? There's a tummy. How dead is that? Tummy, tummy, tummy. I need to find out who's making these squeaky noises. These, these. Okay. Okay, ask again. Hello? Hello? Said yes. Okay. Are you the gentleman we spoke to earlier, the Ouija board? Are you Mike? Are you um, one of the pilots that we spoke to earlier on? Yes. Is it you do get two then, Matt? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Are you? making that high pitch squeal noise is it you no okay do you know who's making that noise yes is it um a negative person a, um someone that means us harm is that one i think that was one i think mm. oh, so again person that's making this high-pitched noise, is it someone that means us harm? Okay. Is it a good person? Is this the next thing? Is this the next phase that we're going to go through? Listening to this noise. Are you still there? Nothing. Maybe he's going to offer a boomerang. What? Something to eat between the hours. Mm. Okay, let's move out here, yes? Yeah? Let's go to the next bit where the, um, uh, you know where the artifacts were? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, my God, how dark is that? No, it's not inviting, is it? No, oh, certainly. Can we usually talk? Do you right now? You're going behind the door. Go. <laughs> No, it's only torture. Oh, okay. oh wash your cables, guys. You like that, isn't it? Oh, yeah, yeah. Right. Uh, I can't see. Wait, stop, stop, because I can't see. I see now. Oh, God. I can see. Thank you. That's Matt's torch. Good. Okay. Which way? Which way to that? Right, that way. Matt, uh, Chris. Why am I going first? I don't want to go first. It's not. Matt? Yeah. You okay? Yeah. Oh, yes. Okay. This way. It's, oh, Chris is saying it's this way, Carl. Oh, no, this is, we want to go here. Oh, Carl, I can't see a damn thing. Sit, I can't, there. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. I'm on the end of this cable. You're on the end? Yeah, Ooh. Got it. You okay? Okay. If you're in here... Carl, why don't we stand around this piece of equipment over here? Where are you? You're here. Oh, God, Carl, I can't see you. Oh, no, sorry, I oh, know, sorry. We've done that. Well, let's try this new bit here. I just wanted to see if we can all together with our energy, see if we can get it to move. Yeah? I think that's what you want to do, yeah. Kath, here, there. Here, here. Well, you need to take your gloves off, really, because... Okay. Take my gloves off. Matt? Yeah, are you I here? Hello? Do you want to walk to the north end, I have no idea what I'm talking there. Step over, step over. Right, you ready? Straight forward now. Where are your fingers? Can't see you, can't see you. Where are your fingers, Kat? I'm doing it, I'm doing it. Where? Okay, you ready? Yeah, yeah, right. If there's anybody here, if there are any spirit people here now, please come towards us. Please come towards us and use our energy. Yeah, I'm scared to move in case I hit someone. You okay? Come on, go forward now. Okay. Okay. 
Do you know what this is that we're touching? Yes. Okay. okay. Can you perhaps make it move? <coughs> right, Kath. Something's touched me. Okay. Can you perhaps make it vibrate? Is there anyone else in the room? Apart from us, us wow. five. Hello? Anybody else in the room? It shouldn't be. Why? Well, there's a crack in the door over there where the light is coming through. And it's not the other side of the door, it's this side of the door, but something has moved and blocked it completely from right to left. Okay. There's definitely no one over there. No. There's no one that I can see, Carl. Oh, really hurt your hand. oh, I'm sorry, darling. Sorry, sweetheart. Oh, I you're talking about. Sorry, darling. Okay, ready? Let's just concentrate on this. You ready? Please, can you move this object? Was that? Do we move that? It moved. I have moved it. It just moved. It just moved. It seems to be floating. Can you move the object, please? That was one for no. Please try. Please try. Get that, Matt? Yeah. Please try. Use our energies now. Please. Oh, my Lord. What's up, Carl? No, I just have to snap out of that. I, I, was, I was off with the fairies, yeah? Were you? Where yeah. were you? I don't know. I was floating. I was, I was, I just felt like I was floating, and then your voice sort of went in the distance and came right back, and I was sort of doing that to one side. I'm absolutely fine. I don't, I'm not going off into one. I was just, just bizarre. Can you please move this object? It's not happening, is it? Normally it happens quite quickly. Should we, should we go to that trans... Yeah, that let's get there. Because I don't think... It feels pretty dead in here. It does, but hang on. Don't let's put some light on. I can't... Let's just put some light on for now, because I don't want to smack into anything. Okay, cool. Oh, God. Right, let's go. What? Right, um... Okay. I think we go through. I'll go through when you came in. Yeah. You alright there, Chris? Yeah, I'm done. Okay, Chris? Yeah, I'm done. Right, you ready? Yeah. Maths? Yeah, that's you. Okay. Carl? Yeah, fine, it's good. Yeah. I still want the first, to be honest with you. It should be terrible. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> Which way? Straight, straight down. Right? And left. Straight down to the right. Was that Matt? Was it, was it all right? Something just fell on the floor. These bits are still here. There's nothing moved. There's nothing moved. Well, these bits are still here. Nothing's moved. We all heard that noise, didn't we? These bits are here. Hey, do you know what I think that sounded like? Is it this? What is it? No, it's just probably no. That's do you know, just can I tell you what I think that was? It sounded like knuckles on here. It did sound like that. Yeah. yeah. It's almost like, hey, stay in here. Well, if we move out again, it's more. Okay, come on. Let's all go. Do you hear that in there? No. Listen. What is it? Something's moved. Something, that's the glass moving on the table. Yes, 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 yes. Did you get that sound? Wait, 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 wait. Move the glass again.
to move to that. Move the glass to one of the letters, please. It happens when you're not asking for it. I know, it does, doesn't it? I don't know if we should carry on to the next bit and then... What, the webcam can say that there's nobody going in and going out now, okay? Yeah. So if the glass does move to a different letter, then we won't know unless... Oh, yes, they will. They can tell us on the webcam, uh, they'll tell us, can't they? Which way is the other place? So straight on. It's straight on, Carl. Straight on. Yeah. yeah. So the former headquarters at RF West Rain are turning into a hotbed of paranormal activity. We are about to take the final break for tonight. The last part of Most Haunted Live approaches. Stay with us until midnight. The results could be spectacular. Back soon. Welcome back to the final part of tonight's Most Haunted Live from West Raynham, a former RAF base in Norfolk. We've had some intense paranormal activity tonight, and this is just about the end. I'm in History Corner talking to our experts, John Callow and Miriam Cook. Then we're going to hear from Interactive, and we're closing the show tonight with the vigil. We're going to spend as much time as we can at tonight's location. After we say good evening for the final time to John and Miriam, Miriam, some amazingly precise results. Yeah. I would say yeah. our best and most authentic yeah. night so I far. I mean, both 114 Squadron and 141 Squadron, we're, we're based here. And That's some nice. interesting Morse code details, both from your good selves and from Interactive. Yeah. What have you made of it tonight? Um, I just, I, I just think it's, it's, it's quite on the mark, isn't it, really? I suppose, John, one of the challenges tonight has been, compared to, say, Morecambe, where there was yeah. a lot of smaller-scale group of people passing yeah. through, tens of thousands of people have worked here. So it must be very difficult for you to research people as the names emerge. That's right. You've got a far denser, as you say, concentration of people uh, passing through, and also a far narrower time scale in the sense, you know, Morecambe and Lancaster, well, Lancaster certainly has a history going back a thousand years or more, two thousand almost. When we're here, we're dealing with a few hectic months from 1939 to 1945. But what I think it does do sometimes when we look back on our past, when we do at this period, it gives us something to be proud of. And uh, I think the team and the spirit everything's been done in really, really has lifted tonight um, as we try and recreate one of the most heroic eras of this nation's history. Thank you both very much. You're back with us tomorrow night. Let's find out what you're seeing and sensing at home via Interactive and Julian Clegg. Julian. Thanks very much indeed, Paul. Well, I know we use superlatives from Interactive, but this really is the best uh, interactive show we've done on live so far. Fantastic with your reaction on Morse code, on your stories about West Wayne. And let's look at the webcam, see what you've been seeing on those. Uh, webcam one, a summary of the evening, bringing that up now. A uh, figure of a woman there, also a face of a man with a moustache seen close up to the camera. Uh, webcam two, the main stairwell, there it is. A dark figure of a man in a long coat stood halfway up the stairs, one of the themes of the night and figures moving up and down the stairs. Webcam 3, bringing that one up, the finance office, a figure stood by the light switch, turning it on and off, and a pig has been seen on this camera as well, interestingly. A webcam 4, bringing up the corridor then, there's the team getting very much involved in the investigation tonight right there. A small boy walking up and down the corridor, a theme of the night, and many orbs sighted, especially around the team on that one. So the summary of the evening, aircraft engine on that one. So the summary of the evening, aircraft Engine noises being heard, a lot of moving mist activity uh, tonight, lots of contributions regarding Morse code, which has been brilliant. Thank you so much for all those messages and also your reaction to the recorded sound as well. Uh, the names mentioned by the viewers include David and Lily. Also, there's an airman dressed in uniform following the team. He's amused at their attempts at Morse code. And also uh, the story that uh, we were hearing earlier from Yvette and Carl Howard in Wales. Thank you for getting in touch about Mike and Molly and more on that. Uh, from you uh, tomorrow night on our post-mortem show. 
And uh, finally, I, I leave with a couple of thoughts. As the team re relocated after doing the Morse code session, an airman dressed in a flight jacket followed them, says Julie in Bristol. And uh, Connor from Portsmouth says, I was based at West Raynham in 1985. I was in the HQ on watch when something ran past me. Since that day, I've never gone back in that building. More from Interactive tomorrow night. Paul, back to you. Thank you, Julian. Well, it's time for the final visit to tonight's vigil location. I would like to thank our friends at the Lincolnshire Aircraft Recovery Group for the loan of artefacts used in tonight's experiments. Let's get straight back now to Yvette Fielding and the team. Hi, Paul. Thank you very much. Um, we have just been seeing <laughs> what we can be described as a, well, a small like, shadow, like so far off the ground, like here running across the end, going back and forward across the end of the corridor. And we're, the only thing we're thinking of is it could possibly be a dog. And Matt saw two red pinpricks, didn't you, like yeah, the ends of cigarettes? LEDs. Yeah. yeah. But okay. the other thing is that point when we went in there, was that you could hear that there's almost like a, like a dog circling before it lays down. Yeah. And then we all heard that, that almost like a dog scampering towards you. Yeah, we all heard that. You. Well, you ran back, didn't you? Is this Kieran and oh, Stu? Yes, yes, hey. yes. Kieran and Stu. Hi, guys. Where does everyone look at? Here they are, guys. I'll leave you. I'm off for a crew flute, guys. I'll leave you. Okay, guys, okay. thank okay. you. Hi. So, we, we, we've been seeing some dark shadows down this one, but we're about to go into this room here, guys. Ready? Yeah. Torches off. Okay, torches off. Oh, God. Hey, I can't see that thing. Do you want me to put the torch on just, just a little bit? Let's get just over. Okay. I know we look ridiculous, but it's honest to God, it's horrendous. You can't see your hand in front of your face. Oh my God. Be, be careful with this no. step up here. I can't stay, with, stay near me. I am. Where is everyone? Shh, we're here. In front of you. Where are you, Stuart? Uh, I'm right at the end here. Keep your mind, mind. Watch your step, Ash. I watch that. There's a step up. There, got it. Got it. Okay, Chris? Got yeah. it. Carl, where are you? I'm almost a bit wiser. Okay. I'm next to you, Carl. Carl? I'm here. I'm going up there. Yeah, yeah. There's a little room through here. What's that? What's that? What's it? You just... No, it's... I just wanted there was a person. It's not... It's a... What was that? No, who said that then? What? Transcurial. I've just heard someone whisper that. A what? Transcurial, I've just heard a whisper. That's a I long word for a whisper. What, I don't know what that word means, I've just heard it somewhere. Oh, is that how? Right, should we call out okay, here? Should I get, is there room for me to come through? Yep. Yeah. Ready? Is there high pitch whistling noise? Matt? Yeah. Everybody start. Oh, you feel like that? Are you here? Hello? Hello? Oh, I, want, I need to find out. Keep still, please. Okay, please ask to play that back because what you hear, you've got to listen very, very carefully to it, but it's there, it's a big... Understood. Tapping? That's... Is that us? No. Is that you? Did you just breathe near me and Kath? Okay. Can you do it right by Kieran's ear? I'm holding out my hand. Do it by Kieran's ear, please. Oh, I heard that, Kieran. I heard that too. Brilliant. Brilliant. Did you get it, Matt? Yep. Okay, brilliant. Let's do it again. Thank you so much for this. Can you do it again by Kieran? What is that? Me moving, sorry. Breathe into Kieran's ear. Oh. 
are you happy with them to talk to us? How many of you are here? How many? Stop now. How many of you are here? Knock out how many now? There's just one. There's just you. Have we met you before? I heard that. That was another breath. Did you hear it, Kieran? Yes, definitely heard that. I've, I've been hearing these all throughout the tapping. Have you? Oh, yeah. What was that last question I just said? Have we met you before? Yeah. And what did it say? Yes. Okay. Are you associated with this place? Do you belong here? Can you do something else for us? Can you slam a door or throw something? That was a yes. Can you do something like that for us now, please? There are phones behind us. Yeah. Ask me if you can ring a phone. Can or... you ring a phone? Yeah. Just a slight whistle. Yeah. Sorry to interrupt, did anyone hear a whistle one? Yeah. No, I didn't. I heard that. Me too. I, I heard it. And I know Matt, you heard it. Yeah. You can find that to be Yeah. Can you please ring one of the telephones. The high-pitched noise that you make, a squealing noise that you make. Different tapping now, it's moved. Can you perhaps do it on a really close to the microphone that Matt's holding? Can you, Matt, wave your hand, okay? Can you do it to Matt's microphone, but really long and loud? Can you do that? Please, can you throw something, perhaps personal of yours? Perhaps an old coin or... It would be amazing if you could. Please? Please? Whoever you are. Can you be talking? None of this should be working at all. No, it, it's it's a clip. It's almost like a mechanical clip, not a, obviously a phone clip. Can you do something? Please do something else. Slam a door or what's that noise? Me, I'm trying to. Walk around. Oh, yeah. Well, before that noise that I heard, it sounded like you know, like a car going past, like a. Oh, I heard that. But that was the, what? I heard that. That's oh, it. That's I, the I, noise. I just, I just dismissed it as a car. No, it wasn't a car. It wasn't a car, man. Okay, we heard it from within here. Yes, it was outside. in the. It was in the room. Right. Arch, we've got to look back for that because that was that was really long and like a yeah. brilliant. Oh, let's move out of here a bit. Do 
right, Carl. Yeah, Can you stop then? Yeah. If there's anybody here, spirit person, gentlemen, if you can hear our voices and you can see us, please can you do something now? We're going to leave soon. You need to do something so extraordinary if you can. Can you throw something? Move something? Move the glass in the other room. Sweetheart? Yeah? Do you want to show us in front of another webcam? Yeah, and do you know what, Carl? Yeah. Why don't you go check out that glass and see if it's moved? Oh, okay. Uh, oh, that's... Oh, oh, that's... 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 Oh, Senior aircraftmen, corporals, sergeants, flight. What was that? I think that was the webcam again. No, 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 not that. What did you hear? Like a murmuring or something, Some yeah. a man talking. Please do something extraordinary. Please. Where's the noise gone? Where's that noise that you liked before? Do it again, please, if you can. Tappy. Touch one of us. Do you think, Karen, to that, the noise in the, 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 the sighing near your ear? It wasn't near my ear, oh, well, was but it? it was certainly in the left. Yeah. You know, you heard it first around you, and it definitely that sigh had moved. It's wasn't a noise, was that sorry? What moved? It's wasn't a noise, was that sorry? What is that noise? You hear it? Yeah. I heard it like a mechanical. What was it? Music or? It was a tone, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah it was, yeah. definitely. That was almost not Morse code. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> it, it was extra. It was like a. It was very. And where would that come from? Was it coming down from the corridor? Do you? I think it was coming from the telephones of that. Seriously. Seriously. Carl's not in. Carl's not in. Come in here. Come this way then, Ken. Yeah? We're in the control room place. Communications room. What's happened? What's happened? Oh, that's what we heard! That's what we heard! No, that's why we're here. It sounded like it was coming from in here. Coincidence, sorry, got me. So I said, if you're here, come on, communicate with us. By the way, the glass is not on the table anymore. Get off. There's no glass on the table. No. Well, we've got on the webcam that no one's gone in, no one's gone out. I mean, I've not looked around the room for the glass. I can't see it, but there's no, it's certainly not on the table. Oh, oh, well, let's ask again quickly. If you said communicate with us, use the Morse code, ask it again. Do the same let, thing. Let, let's get the same situation. We'll stand in front of that same webcam. Same situation. Okay, okay, we'll stand here. Go, go, go. Let's go ask. Where you call out, Carl. Carl, you call it. We will. It's not exactly where we are. Where you go? Okay, if you're here. It says, to do what? Out of control. Please. Situation. Not control. Okay. Right, listen, listen, listen. Okay. Shh. Clear, though. What was he like? Dot 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 dash 
dot dash dash. Do you ask again? That is truly astonishing. A message, but from where? Questions tonight. A riddle wrapped in an enigma. Answers, we hope, tomorrow night on Most Haunted Live. We start on Living It at 8 for Most Haunted Live post-mortem. So much to discuss tomorrow. And then the investigation for the penultimate time, 9 o'clock, Living, be there. Thank you for staying with us.